Hello. Hello. See you a moment, por favor. Oh, shit, we just wrecked the rental car. I'm on two rims. Uh, the front panel is torn off. Ashley's trying to call the cops right now. You driver listen or you pass? This is not good. Our whole entire car is full of groceries. After a day of hunting down parts, we get to walk through the old city and play a little bit. It's pretty gorgeous here. It's so gorgeous here. Lots of old buildings and lots of cats, cats for some reason. Provisioning, which means buying food, supplies, just general boat repairs before we head off into the Pacific for like, seven or eight months because I'm thinking about eight months provisioning. What that's a lot of food, eight months of olive oil, that's a lot of engine parts, canned tomatoes for eight months. I think we're gonna spend a lot of money in Panama and then none for like eight months. I bloody hopes. So. What are you up to, Ash? Fixing my hand. But I screwed up and I dropped a bit overboard. I think she just said she dropped one of my tools overboard. It kind of went flying. Hinge bit flew overboard and now we don't have it. So we don't have a window? Is it going to leak? Probably. Oops. Did you drop something else just now? Screw. Happened. This window has not been my friend. They leak, man. We got new seals for them and they're, they're, the acrylic's fine. And now I have to buy a new hinge bit. Hello. Hello. Si, un momento, por favor. Oh, shit, we just wrecked the rental car. Completely wrecked it. I'm on two rims. Uh, the front panel is torn off. Ashley's trying to call the cops right now. You driver listen or you pass? So we just wrecked in the middle of a bridge. There's these yellow things in the middle here. And about uh, two minutes later now, someone else is wrecked doing the exact same thing behind us. He hit these yellow things right here. Not good. I called that a little whoops. What would you call it, Ash? Big whoops. Two flat tires, car destroyed. We haven't even had it 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yes. I... Days like today where you're glad you have a rental. <laughs> no, it's glad you have insurance. See, uh, Blanco, Blanco, thrifty car rental. Uh, with the story, uh, the, 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 uh, the explanation? The, yeah, explanation. Let's try to change lanes and hit lane dividers. The, I don't like this bounced off. So that was car number seven behind us now that's wrecked on the same spot. Although not as bad as me, just flat tires. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Seven cars on the same bridge hitting the same lane dividers. I think they should change the lane dividers. You know, they have the eye. It was, just, it was just crazy. We handed them the slip. He's like, okay, you don't have to pay anything. The accident slip. I'm like, are you crazy? I'm like, so what do you mean? Well, apparently we were covered. So who the hell knows what's going to happen about the old car? Uh, so we went through the canal. I think. We've been here, I kind of lost track of time. Gotten parts for our engine, parts for our toilet, ton of vegetables, and so many dry goods. Basically filled like a whole entire cabin. We we're going to South Pacific. Apparently it's like outrageously expensive and compared to here. So there is gonna be food. I think the selection will be rather poor for like, you know, most of the way. The rest of it is like, it's five bucks a beer. One beer? Somebody just told us, whatever you think you need to get, you should get three times that. And I'm like. In terms of booze. Yeah, and booze. We got our starter fixed, which we've been carrying around for a year. We always carry a spare of these. And this one was completely burnt out. We thought we would go touring again, and all we've done is hunt down parts all day. All day. They don't know it on top situation. It takes forever here. The traffic is so bad. We'll go one place and then it will be shut down and we won't be there anymore. And then we'll go someplace else and they won't have it. But we did have some success today, thank God. Because <laughs> otherwise I think it might have been like just one of those days where you kind of like hang your head and like, oh, beat your head against the wall. We got the starter rebuilt, which was fantastic. They rebuilt it in like five minutes and it was like hundred bucks. And now we're looking for water maker fittings, which is always a nightmare. They're metric. Everything here is not. They're all high pressure fittings. So they like use hydraulic fittings for them. I want to go to the old town and go to a bar or something. We're just in the 
fish market in Panama City. Uh, they sell fish actually right behind us. Beer. I've had like five beer now. <laughs> <laughs> the fish market was so fantastic and I only had two beer, not five. I kept hearing this scritch 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 noise, scritch scritch scritch, and I was like, what is that? I thought it was a bird? And it's this thing. It's gonna kill itself on our wind generator. There is a slug on our boat, holy shit. What are you doing here, dude? Did you swim out to our boat? I just swam out here. He's caught a bad foot, I think. Oh, poor little guy. We could put him in a cooler and then take him to shore. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Should I call 911? I'm like, Liz! <laughs> I already did that this week. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Oh, where'd the sloth go? Oh, oh, oh no, stay down. Don't go up there, dude. You can, you can have to get your nose knocked off, bud. <laughs> Tropical problem sloth on your boat. <laughs> we just bought these guns. I could squirt them with a. Uh, oh, that's just so mean. I don't know what to do. How do you get rid of us? We really could use a fishing net. That's what we did when we had raccoons at the cabin. I don't want to be in the dinghy with him, though. But he's on the wind generator. Like, how are you going to get him off that? I don't know. He's scritching. I think he's got fleas. I do not want him on board. I can get you a pike pole. A pike pole? What's a pike pole? A boat, a boat hook. I could use a dinghy paddle. How's he doing? Oh, he's still chilling. He's just chilling. Yeah, but he's not going to chill on my boat, right? No way, sir. He might shit on the boat. This poo's probably huge. You're gonna know you cannot knock it off with the paddle. It's all cold. Okay, we got a plan. We're gonna drop the dinghy in. I'm gonna get my buddy Greg. Are you leaving me alone here? Yes, you're gonna babysit <laughs> the sloth. Oh, it's mean. It's How not a nice sloth. I don't know. Like, we were watching a movie, like banged up abroad. <laughs> And we heard this thing scratching itself. I think he's mean. I w yeah, no, he would definitely take a chunk out of you. Oh, that's so mean! Whoa. Oh, nice. Whoa. Should we actually get back to shore? I think that'd be a good idea. I think he's getting on this boat. Let's good. knock on his boat. He's on board. Sorry to wake you up. <laughs> Hi, Gary. I'm <laughs> Ashley. No, no, no. What is that doing there? Oh, Fucking shit. kidding me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, back up. back up. Give me some power. Oh, where are you guys? <laughs> yeah, Canada. House. Get him out. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying. Do you have any ideas? Do you have any have ideas? <laughs> that bear spray would be nice. <laughs> well, he was on our boat first. Free. Okay, it's free. Hey, now, let's get him to shore. Yeah, I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh, yeah! Oh, no, he's getting in the deep. Oh, no! <laughs> I don't think he's having any trouble swimming. Yeah, come on, bud. Just what would possess him to like be like, hey, I'm going to swim out in this, this anchorage here. Oh, he's, he's happy now. Oh. This is insane. He can totally grab onto that metal pole. Maybe his feet aren't demented, they're just sticky. <laughs> oh, he's, he's tired. He's okay. You should stay on shore now. Finally, we're leaving. It's March 22nd, and that's Panama City behind us. It's been a stressful couple weeks, but fun. Panama City is going to be looming in our distance pretty quick here. We're headed to the Perlis Islands, which are just off the coast, where we're going to scrub our bottom before we set sail for the Galapagos. It's a really good feeling to be leaving. It's a really 